uh welcome students today we are going to see one more new concept that is a cyclic redundancy check and also it is known as your in the short form as crc so here what you are going to do is you have to check the error code if you have any error code that you are going to check it out okay and uh, if uh, like if you will find out any kind of your error codes then that thing and all how we are going to remove and again how we are going to send the data words that we are going to see over here so moving towards the next slide so here you can see i'll explain you what do you mean by the error detection so error detection is nothing but uh, it you are going to detect the errors which will cause by the noise or any any other uh, like impairments whenever you are transferring uh, from your host to, to from your one host to another host uh, maybe some due to some uh, like uh, network issues or due to some other problem it may uh, like uh, the data packets may not reach to uh, your uh, destination site so in that time you need to find out any error is there or not so if any error is there then that time you have to remove the errors and you are going to show you are you are going to send the original data packets okay so that is the main thing you are going to do it over here so next thing is you can see uh, there is some uh, whenever you will detect the errors you might not be knowing that what we, what was the original code okay so the first thing is you have to validate that you have the original code or not so how you are going to validate that the receiver will always have the list of a uh, valid code words okay uh, that receiver will have all these things and the original code which has no change uh, it will also be there with the invalid one okay so through that only it is going to check it out if there is any error present or not so uh, moving towards the next one you can see here i have one diagram so here how you are going to process your uh, like uh, from your sender to receiver all the data packets all the data words and how you are going to find out your error uh, error how you are going to work out with your error detection so here you can see this is my sender side this is my receiver side and in sender side uh, whenever we will send any kind of your data word everything has to be encoded first and then it is going to be decoded inside your receiver end because always we will send the data words through our unreliable transmission channel as we are sending through uh, towards you through your unreliable transmission channel there is a, a chance of loss of the packet and also maybe your data packets can be accessible with a third party so to avoid all these things we have to encode the data and then we are going to decode the data whenever we will send from your sender side to your receiver side we will have the data word okay all these data words will be of k bits of data okay so you should remember whenever the sender will send any data let's take it as your k bits of data okay so normally as per your syllabus you are going to read only 8 bits of data uh, not more than that okay so once you have the data word you are going to send it through your generator so once the generate through your generator you can have the encoded data that is nothing but code word so that things you let let's take it as your n bits of data and that n bits of data you are going to send it through your unreliable transmission channel so once you have sent to your unreliable transmission channel you are going to receive in your receiver end what it will receive it will receive the encoded data packets and that also will be of length n bits so once it has been reached next thing you are going to check it out and you are going to extract it by using your decoder once you have extracted it you will get your data words but if you are finding any extra bits of data or you have uh, like you are finding less number of data bits then you are going to discard it and the same process will start again uh, and it will uh, follow the same channel once again and once you have received the data words as uh, like for the uh, valid one then the receiver will be uh, sending the acknowledgement towards your sender side so moving towards the next one we have to find out how the error detection are going to take place so here we are going to detect the errors if there will be any errors then we have to reconstruct the original with error free data and we are going to retransmit uh, the error free data once again through the same channel 
and also it is very difficult to find out the errors because uh, the re receiver needs only the receiver code okay which is very invalid because he will not be knowing the original code of data but he can guess that this is a this is not a original code whatever has been sent how to know that because he has one more for like uh, algorithm uh, through which algorithm uh, the redundant bits of data or corrected data or if anything is there if it is less than your error detection here it is going to find out in that way so only for these things we have to allow we have to go for the algorithms so here what is happening here you can see that we have the structure of encoder and decoder in error correction how we are going to encode or decode the data so here you can see there is a sender part again where you are going to again encode the data and you are going to decode the uh, data and you are going to receive it towards your receiver end if there is any uh, discard portion of your error value is there or any error data is there then you are going to retransmit once you are retransmitting here once uh, inside the checker if it is finding that yes the data words whatever has been received it is the perfect one then it will uh, send the acknowledgement as correct and then it is going to receive towards your receiver end okay so moving towards the next one here uh, the algorithm who is going to check it out all the error codes that is nothing but that is known as your cyclic redundancy check okay so here this is a uh, cyclic codes where are the special linear blocks codes uh, are there and which have some extra property and by using that extra property all the cyclically it the code word is going to be shifted or it is going to be rotated okay so once it will be shifted or rotated the result will be as another code fine so here this is cyclic redundancy check why this name has given because always the code word is getting shifted or it is getting rotated according to our uh, like uh, error bits of data so here these things and all is commonly it is used for your digital network or for any of the storage devices so to find out any accidental changes are there or anything happens towards the raw data so all these things are going to be check uh, are going to be work out through this cyclic redundancy check okay so next thing will be the blocks of data those who are entering inside your system will have the uh, one check value which is going to be attached how it is going to be attached we can see that one in our example okay so and then we are going to follow the process of cyclic redundancy check we will have one reminder that reminder uh, is going to be attached with the uh, like whatever the code word has come it is going to be attached with that and the uh, calculation process is getting repeated fine then the last if you are getting there is no corruption of data or reminder value is zero then you can find out that the, whatever the data values has come that is the correct one okay and the same thing is also can apply for your polynomial division so both the things we are going to see by using the example okay so here i'll give you one example suppose if you want to find out the crc code which will have c7 comma 4 it means that you have the data word of 7 sorry you have the data word of 4 now you want to change it to the code word of 7 bits of data so uh, let's take it an example here suppose you have the data word as 4 bits of data here you can see 1 2 3 4 and the code word is required only for 7 bits of data then how you are going to do another 3 bits of data you have to attach okay so here has been attached and you got the 7 bits of data so in that way what all are the values are going to be attached here that we have to find out but in this way you need to attach okay so you can say now that here 000 has been attached why in the next case 0111 has attached this is a stay example uh, i have taken and there is nothing here i have not applied any of the algorithm only to show you how we can attach i have shown you this example now what to attach that i will show you so now here you can see how this encoder and decoder position is getting uh, work out uh, so here you can see the sender and here you can see the receiver whenever the data word of four bits of data has been passed so first thing is it has to pass through your generator so you can see my four bits of data 1 2 3 4 so this four bits of data has been passed towards my generator but i told you that the um, 
like my code word is uh, code word wanted seven bits of data so that time what i want to do i have to add another three bits of data so in the first case i have added 000 and i have passed all the seven bits of data towards my generator and i have to apply my cyclic redundancy checker so once it has been done and i will get some reminder whatever the reminder i will get i will attach with my four bits of data that is a0 a1 a2 a3 i will attach the reminder r0 r1 r2 and i am going to send it through my unreliable channel so once i will send to my unreliable channel here it is as it has been already encoded here it needs to decode so all the seven bits of data are uh, passing towards my checker and going to check it out so it will have some uh, values okay it will get some syndromatical values that is nothing but your reminder values here also whenever we have got the divisor value we got it means some quotient value we got the quotient value whatever we got inside the sender side it has to match with the receiver side here some of the like reminder value we got so here the decision has to be takes place if it is a correct one it is going to be accepted if it is not it is going to be discarded then you can find out your original data one the same logic we are going to apply for our uh, one of the example here you can see my data word has been given as four bits of data so now here 1001 okay please check it out carefully because it is very important so now the divisor has given 1011 so in your question paper you will have because there will be 8 or 10 marks of question where you are going to solve uh, the crc because the same thing is there in your lab also and same thing is there in your theory part also so you have to solve it by using the crc encoder so what you are going to do here so the data word is uh, the data word is four bits of data word and here i have this is my divisor okay so what i can do is my code word is required the three bits of data that also how i will come to know here you have four bits of data so n will be your four bits okay so uh, so you need to do apply the formula and you need to do n minus 1 so n minus 1 in the sense 4 minus 1 will be 3 as it is 3 so you need to add the three bits of data okay so here i have added 0 0 okay always you need to add 0 only for the crc you need to add 0 only you cannot add any other things so then you are going to apply the xor gate so once you will apply your xor gate you are going to find out so now i'm going to start with the division thing so 1011 into 1 is 1011 and uh, if i will apply the xor gate value of your 11 1 is 0 0 1 is 1 and 0 0 is 0 and 1 1 1 is 0 so the zero values you are going to discard okay the leftmost the bit zero value you need to discard so i have only 1 and 0 uh, so here what you are going to do you are going to discard this value okay so next what you are going to do uh, you are going to only consider 1 0 0 so once you are going to consider about 1 0 here only 1 0 will come down so again you are going to you are going to give the quotient as 0 you are going to find out all the four bits of data okay so here you got 1 0 is 1 because in xor get 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 and the rest of the values will be 0 so you are going to give 10 is 1 0 0 0 0 0 so again one more zero has come down in the similar way you have to continue the process and you will get the reminder as 1 1 whatever the reminder you have got with your data word you have to attach and all these things will be your code word and you are going to send it to your receiver end okay so now what you are going to do you have to send it now let's see how you are going to send and how you are going to see so here i have uh, so in my code word whatever has come this is my code word i have been attached so again you need to do the division things and uh, the same process you have to apply here i have added 110 okay because instead of 000 i told you right uh, what i will add i don't know i have not applied whenever i have showed you that tabular form i told you that i don't know what all are the things i'm going to add so that thing also you need to find out so here i found the first thing you need to add in the first time 000 whatever the reminder you will get that reminder you are going to add over here and you need to process the you have to follow the same process if you are getting 000 then if you can say that 
the uh, data word whatever has been sent like that is 1001 that is correct suppose by mistake you have entered instead of this one you have entered this zero then you won't get you will get some symptomatically some value okay which is going to be discard because it is not the reminder is not zero if it is not zero it will understand that there is again some uh, mistake is there or error is there in your data bits so again it is going to be discard and again it is going to send it back so uh, you can see over here here also has been written that you are going to send the uh, like data words once again okay moving towards the next one so here now how you can utilize all these things uh, through your polynomial so if you are going to use your polynomial way so what you are going to do uh, we can use this polynomial to represent a binary word you know how to represent the binary word that also i will show you each bit from your right to left okay from your right to left that you have to remember from your right to left okay has to be the power term you know that we have to give the power term right so the first one will be x power 0 then the previous one will be x power 1 again the previous one will be x power 2 so in that way we have to follow and the value of 0 will always be 1 x power 0 is equals to 1 so that also we will see now how it looks like moving towards your next one here you can see the same one what was my question you can see over here x power 3 okay x power 3 in the sense uh, i have four bits of data fine so if x power 3 is there i have four bits of data so x power 3 as it is there so in my first bit it is one and this is my last bit because x power 0 is equals to one so my fourth one will be one and in the mid nothing is there means the value will be zero and zero you can see the same uh, data word that, that is the same example whatever we have solved now only i'm going to show you how you are going to represent and here also you can see my x power zero is one so here it is one so now you can see uh, plus x x power one it is there so x power one in the sense again it is one now x power 2 is not there if it is not there means it is 0 then x power 3 means it is 1 okay so this is a value you are going to divide it so here what is the value here x power 6 means i know that i have some around 7 bits of data over here because it is x power 6 right so it is a 7 bits of data so wherever 6 and 3 is there you have to put 1 and the rest of the things has to be 0. So in the similar process you are going to divide and you are going to get this is a polynomial way just to know that how you are going to do it in your exam and you have to apply the same process and you will get some reminder. Again you are the reminder and you are going to get the next one okay. So now here, uh, yeah, you are going to get the next one. Now let's see what all are the advantages will be there for your cyclic codes. What are the advantages? The first thing is it will have the good performance if you are going to detect any single bit of data. Okay. And also you are going to double the errors and the odd numbers of the errors. You can double it uh, and the error checking code will be because two, two times we are checking it. So definitely it, it will give you the good performance. And in the second point, you can see it can be easily implemented in hardware and software. Anywhere you can implement this. And also one more thing you can see there, they are especially fast when implemented in hardware okay if you are going to implement in hardware it is going to be very fast and also it will have the cyclic codes for the good candidate for many networks so uh, these all are about your uh, cyclic redundancy check uh, more examples you can find out from your previous year question paper and try to solve all the questions